how to use ClickUp for reporting. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can use your favorite CRM platform or project management platform like ClickUp into the, um, the reporting uh, system. So it is uh, going to be uh, very simple and easy. We're going to head over ClickUp.com, sign in for an account. And as you can see, we're going to find at the dashboard something resembling this. But aside in your case, you're not basically going to see all of these tasks or these, as you can see, uh, specific notes because maybe you're going to have it as a clean one or a new one, or you're going to get more of these. Now, what we're going to do is going to be very simple. We're going to head over the left side of the screen. We are going to choose a space. For example, if you do not have a space, you can go ahead and create a new space by having an icon. And also a name for it and a little bit of a description do not make it private until you are going to have it for yourself or you can go ahead and also use some templates for these spaces so basically you're going to have a space for whatever you want here basically you are going to have up to what 61 uh, templates for these spaces so we are going to try first and see if we are going to have some reporting spaces for example report right like that so we're going to find maybe some report basically as you can see we do not have uh, this one so we are going to have only not for space but reporting in general so we are going to find as you can see after we have um, uh, unticked the template type we have a lot of reporting we have campaign report digital marketing report email marketing report and every type of reporting so you can go ahead and choose one of the cases that you're going to find for here and add it as a template. So you're not going to use it from scratch and this is favorable. So you're going to get an advantage or you can go ahead and create a, your own reporting system from scratch. I rather go with a, one of these. Uh, I only need to choose one of the uh, specific uh, templates in here. And then we can go ahead and use it as much as we want. Now for the marketing, as you can see, we are going to have a campaign report, digital marketing report. So maybe I'm going to have the uh, email, not this one, but this marketing report. I'm going to use it like this. So I can go ahead and click on use template. I put here a document name and also where should this document be created? So we are going to choose one of the spaces or you can go ahead and add a new list. Basically, as you can see, we have um, abandoned creating a new space. So you can go ahead and create a new space empty and also add uh, some, as you can see here, a doc template for it. I'm going to add it to the idea. So we are going to create a list and name it. For example, uh, email or marketing report like that uh, so we are going to click on create uh, so we're going to have the use template click on it so normally we are going to find the reporting here so this is the marketing report as you can see this is going to be a list so what we're going to find in this list is going to be very simple you're going to find your tasks for example here a report let's say report one and we can go ahead and add the assignee for example it is myself i can go ahead and have a priority for example and you can go ahead and add maybe something like new statuses like a report one for example status i'm going to have it into the list only and you're going to find what do you have so you can have the group of the statuses subtasks added columns and etc now what are we going to do is going to be very simple this is going to be a um, let's say a specific case of reporting you're going to have the columns you can add whatever you want now for this as you can see we can see the list but the most important part here is going to have the views and these views are going to be up there, as you can see here. So we are going to click on board and see everything. So this is, as you can see, as a Kanban type, 
can go ahead and have maybe in progress for example this app in progress as you can see and also completed uh, so basically we are going to have uh, uh, this specific uh, as you can see here Kanban we can go ahead and use it and also we can have the view of the calendar the timeline the activity also as you can see and the mind map so for the activity it is going to be the most important part or most important view in the reporting so everything is going to be um, as you can see accounted in this page so you are going to have the date you're going to have the hour the time the exact time as you can see as you can see it is going to be highlighted and we are going to find the uh, name of the subject or the person that they have um, committed or did something so as you can see we are going to have uh, this specific red way uh, priority you are going to see that this is something that we have did uh, so it is going to be considered a type of tracking and also reporting now for the mind map it is not going to be something that we need the most but we can get, go ahead and add some more views so and these views are going to be like the dashboard for example I can go ahead and add a dashboard and this is going to be uh, very sufficient for that specific type of um, lists so on the dashboard what we're going to do is to have some as you can see of the uh, best templates like the team reporting this is going to be something that we are going to have um, let's say or be in touch with the team if they are going to have some adjustments if you are going to have something to announce and etc well this is going to be related to the business plan so it is not going to be uh, for free so you need to um, subscribe for the business plan and you're going to get a response for this now aside from it so we can go ahead and have uh, maybe a simple dashboard like this and for this simple dashboard uh, we are going to have as you can see everything in a place so the whole reporting system is going to be here so what are we going to do is to check up everything and put in order what do we need so as you can see we're going to get the help of the AI executive summary so we can have the AI to uh, get everything summarized into one place this is something good I would like to use it and also I highly recommend for using it so instead of uh, having some manual reporting you're going to get everything summarized with AI that is going to be some automation so you're going to have uh, the conclusion for every task that you have in here for example for the unassigned tasks in progress tasks the completed one the workload and as you can see for all of the widgets these widgets as you can see you can go ahead and have them um, completely or you can change them or you can click on the parameters and change the indicator uh, that you're going to put for measuring for example like this one you're going to measure the uh, in progress work for example the unit the position of it you can also have the workload step by status for example like this uh, by having data source for it like the uh, I don't know here the same space that you're going to use the reporting system from or the gathering data that you're going to have to set up manually or automatically now uh, everything is going to be as you can see simple and also uh, easy to use for um, amateur or the new beginners into this platform so aside from that you can see that also the activities you're going to find them here so the latest activities is going to be here and you can go ahead and have for example in the place of this uh, or change the place of each one of the widgets and also you can go ahead and customize them as much as you want for the activity I'm going to let a little as here or latest report for example we are going to have something added so basically you are going to click on it and it will take you to that specific activity or this 
uh, report that you have uh, announced in here. So aside from that, we do have some customization that you can add for this dashboard, like having some filters, adding some auto layout and auto refresh, uh, pinning the views, private views, exporting views or data into an email or a PDF file and etc. And I'm going to add something to this specific tutorial is uh, here you can go ahead and add for that, uh, let's say a report that you have added or managed, you can add some docs, whiteboards, forms or import things like from Trello, uh, to do ist and etc. Also, you can have some lists or templates that you can add for more precise uh, work. So basically, that is uh, going to be uh, pretty much it for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope that you have enjoyed the content. And I hope to see you in the next one.